All right, everybody, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are just starting day snappy. two. I gotta take a crap. And we're gonna. I don't like you. Uh, let's get one thing straight. We're gonna. You're not working with me. Do so. You're working for me. I accepted it, didn't I? Quest. Yeah. Why isn't it showing me the rally point? Okay. Maybe that's an update that they made. Maybe it doesn't show you... Or maybe it's because I'm tracking a challenge. Can I, like, untrack a challenge? And then... Hang on. Um... Yeah, map. Toggle active. There we go. Okay. Because usually it shows you, like, the distance and all that. But it wasn't showing it to me. All right, so this is a digging. So we literally just have to, like, dig until we find these supplies. Let's clear out all this grass here. Start digging. This is good. This will give us cobblestone materials too the more we have to dig. Because we need stone, which we're getting plenty of from digging out our bunker. But then we also need clay, which we get from basically digging dirt. That's how you get clay. I'm just running out of stamina. I'm closer to the treasure. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing with these quests. Like every time you dig a certain number of squares within the circle all these squares make a circle um it kind of pinpoints more closely where the treasure actually is Closer. There it is. Oh, usually that gives us better food than that, but not this time. So now we can... Usually zombies spawn every time the circle closes in, but just because that was the intro to it, it's like only the... only the final one spawned enemies. Alright. Hello. So now that you did the job, I guess you ain't that damn bad after I'm gonna all. do shotguns just because I'm already doing strength. Um and that just gives us like a shotgun. I've got work to do if you don't I'd say it's been an honor to work with Gives you, us a shotgun and some be alive. ammo. So we did that quest. Now this is a clear zombies quest. 
where we go into one of the POIs or points of interest and clear out a bunch of zombies. And this is the one the quest that usually you end up starting with because it's the closest one to the trader. There's a lot of stuff in here to loot as well. Um, we're going to get a lot of good stuff here. It's also the mushrooms are a pretty darn good source of food. And they're everywhere. I don't know if there's a way to actually like grow them. But I can get a lot of good stuff. Alright, let's get this stump here. I hope it gives us some magazines. Because we need to... I really want to start crafting or finding higher quality tools. So we're going to the Mushroom Co. Mining Company. So it's literally just a mine underground. Awesome know where like all the loot is too. And our quest is literally just to kill all the zombies that we can find. While gathering all the random um, resources around as well. We can get these mushrooms, which are a good source of early game food. going to be zombies in here. See all the red dots? There's one up there. There's usually one back here, but I guess not this time. I guess they just don't see me yet. Um, there you are. Oh, there's the one from up above. But they walk nice and slow so I'm not too worried about it see nice and easy like I said I'm not in a rush I'd rather gather resources than complete a bunch of quests really quickly because we'll get to a point where we can do every quest that they have um, in the allotted day like once we get a bike and stuff but like for now let's just take our time loot a bunch of resources that we can use to upgrade our base when we get back and just kind of focus on that kind of stuff even if this quest takes us like the entire day or something, like, that's fine. We'll still get a reward for it at the end of everything. We'll get tons of experience for all the zombies and stuff that we have to kill. And we'll get some pretty good loot by the end of this. At least we should. Unless we're really unlucky. If not, that's going to get destroyed when I break the stuff underneath it. Yeah, see, so this... Ooh, harvesting cobblestone. Okay. But just getting this clay that we're getting from these, like, that's going to help us make cobblestone that we can use to upgrade our bunker. And I got all the mushrooms. Put the mushrooms in my hot bar. Oh, hello. You have a lot of health. 
Not that I can see your health, but they're the, the bigger zombies have more health. So she's gonna take quite a few hits to take down. There we go. Mushrooms for an awesome food source. Good timing. Oh, I hate these guys. Oh, because they're quick. They do. Oh, jeez. I need to. Yeah, they just move, like, really fast. It's over. zombies in here. <laughs> These are the worker zombies and they're they're pretty tough. Or they can be. They're still just like a basic zombie type, but they can still do quite a bit of damage if I'm not careful. Come on. My stamina really needs to start refilling. Cool. Gonna start getting hungry again soon. And these, like, they give you two hunger, which isn't much, but if you have a bunch of them. But they also heal your health a lot, too. So, oops, pressed the wrong button. So, if you have a bunch of them and you're, like, mildly injured, it's really helpful to have some mushrooms on you. Fuel. And then we need this thing. Because we're almost done in here. There's only like a couple more rooms. Oh, come on, really? It's because I was punching. Um, go down. Yep, he's going to come down, too. That's all right. It's going to be build up stamina for a minute. He's going to be right at the top of this thing. There's a crawler. Oh, he's trying to get through the wall, I guess. So that's the last zombie, but there's still loot to be had in here. Because, like, maybe we find a food pile in the final room. Because all of the POIs kind of have, like, a final room that has all the... There's, like, crates with a bunch of stuff in them. Um, it's kind of like playing Rust, which I've been playing a lot lately. Um, 
like when you finish a monument in Rust, and there's like a bunch of loot at the end when after you do all the puzzles and stuff. It's kind of the same way in this game. stamina and it's because I'm thirsty but it's so annoying to have to like wait every third hit this stuff, the nitrate powder, you use that to make um, gunpowder later on, which is obviously essential. There we go. Right, this is final loot room. Ooh, and it's a book sealed crate. Ooh, we got a handgun. Okay. So this could give us a bunch of those magazines. Let's see. Improve seed crafting. Okay. Yeah. Medical crafting. I really want the, the tool crafting one. So now we come up here, and this is just like the easy way out. Jump up here, and then... But if you jump off of there, you'll like sprain a leg or something. But if you just walk off the edge, you'll just... You'll just plop down. So now we should get um, money for this, as well as a ton of experience. So with that money, we should be able to at least buy either buy some water or we could buy a cooking pot which is much more important to the water process than um, than like just buying water from the trader um, because then we can cook our own water because we find lots of like murky water and stuff in POIs Oh yeah, you're so scary. I'm just gonna get this loaded. Build up stamina. In case I get desperate. I'm definitely not desperate yet. But just in case in the future, you know, might start getting desperate. Yeah, that didn't take us, like... Well, that t that did take us a while, actually. Longer than it usually takes me, because I don't think I'm usually thirsty when I get to that point. But you know what? I can... This is going to be... This is a little bit, like, dangerous in a way. Because um, every time you drink from a dirty water source, you... Um, you do actually get injured, like my health is going down. But, because, oh, and I made myself sick again. Okay, but I'm going to be like full water when that's done. But I can sit here and eat my mushrooms, which is going to bring my health back up. And it's going to bring my... Um, food up as well. Holy shit. I wipe that smirk off your face. Doing one job doesn't make us pals. Um I'm gonna take lock picks. Because those are important. Um let's do a I'm fetch. Gonna make you an offer. It's a deal. Disappoint me. 
and you'll find yourself on the wrong end of a rope. Oh, and we leveled up, but we only have one skill point, and that's not going to be enough to do what we want to do with it. So we're just going to probably eat the rest of these mushrooms. Um, yeah, we have our next quest. But we will go do that quest in the next one. So thanks for watching, and I will see you then.